In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Artifacts action. So inside Photoshop here, the first thing we want to do is load up our action. So if we go to the Window menu and select Actions, the Actions panel will appear. Click on the top right hand corner icon and select Load Actions. Select the Artifacts.atn file and the action will appear here and that's all ready to go. So I'm going to demonstrate this action across four different photos. Uh, just to show you, you know, how the action works and what you can do uh, with your photo after the action's finished. You can you know, adjust some of the layer settings to optimize your result. So let's go ahead, open up the first photo. Uh, with your photo open, don't rename the layer, just leave it how it is. Uh, select the artifacts action, click play. And the action will take around 20 to 30 seconds to complete. Okay, so it's finished, and let's jump into the layer panel, and we'll have a look what the action has created for us. So we have two folders here, Adjustments and the Artifacts folder. The Adjustments folder is basically some fine tuning we can do to uh, your design after you're happy with it. So for example, we have a folder here called Color Options, where you can tick, you can tick on the layer, visibility for these, um, for example here inside the color options we can mix these all up okay we have add noise very subtle effect vignette so it adds a um, like a black glow around the border you can increase the saturation if you double click uh, on this layer you can add more saturation or less uh, you can experiment with changing the, the colors Layer below, add contrast, we'll do just that, add a bit more contrast to the overall image. You can adjust this layer opacity to increase contrast or remove it. Okay, so the folder below is the artifacts folder. So let's take a look inside here. And we'll go down the layer order one by one and talk about what, you, what each layer does. So the original color, if I turn that off, uh, you'll see that there are some unnatural colors, they're not the, the original colors that came to the photo. So by all means you can use some some different colors, um, but if you want to keep the original color, leave that layer turned on. Layer below, fill original details. If I flick that on, you'll notice that it just brings out some of the original details in the photo. Um, so that's a good option to use well, it really, it really depends on which photo you're working with. Experiment with just turning the layer on and off to see how it affects your photo. Uh, in this case, we're going to leave it off. Layer below, edge highlight. If I turn that layer off, you can clearly see what that does. If you look up here around the laptop when I turn this on, it just defines uh, a lot of the edges of um, elements in your photo. Okay. Now, you'll notice on the edge highlight layer, uh, we have a layer mask, it's just this white box here. If I fill this all black, you notice that it's removed all the edge highlights. But if I grab a white brush and I brush into this layer, I can actually manually add um, where I want the edge highlight to appear. Okay? So if you only want the edge height to appear in certain areas, uh, use the mask. And you can also do the same for the original details. So if I fill this black, and then grab a white brush, okay? So the folder below is the main design, and these are the, the elements that really um, create the overall look. So what we might do is just I'll turn these off, I'll turn all these off, and we'll start from near the bottom here. So paint fill is like our base layer, so everything is built on top of this layer. If I turn this one off, 
you see there's our original photo okay so we turn this one on and we'll start from the top here fill number one we'll just add a little bit of subtle detail to help uh, start build up the look fill two a bit more come to a line in one now if I zoom in around just this area here you see it just adds like a, a subtle stroke around contours of the photo see that there okay zoom back out fill number three adds a bit more detail fill number four fill number five and contour lighting two adds a bit more um, edge lining so you can see that look around here turn this on and off so you can break apart um, your photo a bit more so for example uh, you can go ahead and experiment with turning some of these off to create new looks okay so let's go ahead and close this photo and open up the next So again, with your photo open, just click play on the action. Alrighty, that's all done. Now, from first observation, uh, one thing I really want to change is the, let's just minimize these folders, is the edge highlight. I really don't want the edge highlight to appear, uh, you know, around here, all around here. So I might just manually work with that layer. So let's go ahead and just turn these layers on and off and see what see what we get. So we'll turn the edge highlight off. You'll see that's created more of a like a painting look. Um, fill original details. I don't mind that. Looks a little bit strange around here. So what I'm going to do this original details. I'm just going to lower the opacity of this layer to zero, and I'm just going to bring it up slowly and leave that around sixty percent. Going to turn on the edge highlight. I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to bring the opacity right down, bring it up slowly. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I might just remove it around. So let's grab our black brush and remove it around here. Alrighty, so let's go into our adjustments folder and take a look at adding a bit more saturation, more contrast, no. Let's add some colour. I think the colour number rate is fine. So I'm happy with that. So to compare this against the original, I might just flatten these two folders. So if I click on adjustments and shift select the artifacts folder, control E to merge the folders and if I turn the visibility, visibility off for this layer you can compare that against the original alrighty let's move on to the next photo again let's play the action take a look at what we can do with this one. Turn the edge highlight off. So I might brush this uh, these edge highlights in manually. Okay, we might turn on the original details. We might keep that on. Let's turn the original color off. Kind of like it with it off. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's jump into the adjustments folder and let's take a look at some of these colors. That's nice, those two together. Increase the saturation and we'll just lower the contrast a little bit. Turn that off. 
Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's merge these two folders and compare against the original. Alright, let's work on the last photo. Alright, we'll do another two. We'll do this cow one. Click play on the action. Okay, I kind of like the result of this one, just how it is, but we'll take a look at adjusting some of the settings. Uh, original details. We'll just lower the opacity for this layer. Just use it a little bit. Edge highlight, I want to keep turned on. Uh, original color, yep, we'll keep that on. We'll leave all these on. And I'm actually pretty happy with that, but what I might do is go into our adjustments folder. I might change the color of this car. Like that. Alright, finished. Let's flatten these folders, compare against the original. And that looks pretty cool. Alright, let's open up our last photo. Hit play. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, but let's get a bit more crave with this guy. Let's go ahead and turn... Let's turn off the edge highlight. We'll turn on the original details. Let's not use the original color. Let's have a look inside main design. Turning some of these off. Okay, let's stick with that. Let's go inside our adjustments folder. Let's increase the saturation. Contrast. Uh, I also have a pack of um, 200 professional color grades, uh, which you can use for your photos. They're all actions. It's called the Photo Master, which is available on Graphic River. Uh, I use these all the time. Uh, you, inside the action, you'll get a folder called Master Looks, which is just crammed full of different um, color grades, which you can use. So, say I'm happy with this. Uh, let's go ahead and flatten. Whoops, flatten these two layers all the way down and with the layer selected all you need to do is click on a on a um, action click play and if you're not happy with it you can just delete the layers and try another one let's try charm okay that one that one looks pretty good I'll just increase the such uh, the Capacity of that layer. Let's go and add a vignette. Inside the Photo Master uh, action, you also get a, a folder full of different contrast presets. You can use those as well. But inside, there's also a vignette action, so we can just add that and adjust that. Well, with the opacity. And I want to try and sharpen up these details a bit. So there is a HDR action here. HDR light, we'll use that. And I'll just bring this up the layer order. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and flatten these layers. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import the original photo. Just place that over the top and we'll turn the visibility off for this layer and compare against uh, what we've done. Okay, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy using the action and again, if you've got any questions, please contact me. Thanks.